What's up guys, today I'm here at Lidl and today we're going to learn about the different meat. So let's start with the bad news and what not to buy first. So we'll start with beef. Normal beef is usually from a feedlot which is raised indoors. It's fed GM, that's genetically modified corn and soy, which are very controversial and unnatural. The animals are fed this for the purpose of them to grow fatter, quicker, ready for slaughter, to make more profit for the company. However, this makes the nutrition inferior to something like grass-fed beef. So guys, if you're going to grab something like this from Lidl, this says that it's guaranteed 70% grass-fed beef. They've put a lovely green label on it. This is to catch your eye and to make you think that it's like the best in class. But guys, this is not the best in class. This is 70%. You know if you feed a cow for the last 30% of its life on genetically modified soy and grain, you basically override the benefits of it being grass-fed. So 100% grass-fed, grass-finished is the best in class beef you can buy. So guys, let's take a look at these caramelized onion pork sausages. They have all the labels, red tractor, you know, RSPCA. Now that might be a little more humane than the minimum required EU standards here in England. But overall, this is your factory farm pork. Don't be fooled. It is not free range. Outdoor bread is just a name. So guys, let's take a look at the ingredients in this product. So 77% British factory farm pork. Now I wouldn't support that because the animals are not treated very well. Also has many sugars, you've got dark Moscovado sugar, you've got sugar mentioned a couple of times here, you've also got rapeseed oil, that's not cold pressed rapeseed oil, that's high heated toxic rapeseed oil, which is very bad for your body and can take 51 days to remove a toxic oil like that from your body. We also have dextrose, which is a simple carbohydrate made from corn, basically that's another word for sugar, and rice flour, that's white rice flour, which is also not so good for you and this spikes your blood sugar also and down the line we've got triphosphates and preservatives sodium metasulfate now sodium metasulfate does not appear in my searches to have any really adverse effects on the body however guys we don't want these chemicals in our foods we don't need these chemicals in food we want natural clean simple ingredients so guys let's take a look at the bacon here so bacon has a bit of a reputation for having nitrates as well as other deli meats. These nitrates are believed to cause health problems. Although there is not sufficient evidence, I just still wouldn't want that nitrates in my food, guys, added to my food. And also the quality of this bacon is factory farm pork, so I wouldn't buy it. So if you can afford it, guys, not everyone can always obtain it or afford it. I would go for organic because you're focusing on the environment, the life of the animal, and I believe you get a better tasting product, in my opinion. But if you can't get organic, even that as the GMO food feed, I would go for free range second because these two labels actually mean something. And then if you really had to and you had a large family and you couldn't afford it, then you would have to go for this type of bacon. So guys, I want to talk about the conventional chicken. This is chicken that is indoors in tightly crammed spaces. It's a horrible environment and the bird's beaks are cut. The bird's beaks are cut because this means that they can avoid injury where they are so close together and they could even attack each other just because of their mood where they're so tightly packed together. It's not fair on the chicken. It's not great for the environment either, so I would avoid this. And the meat's bad as well, not to mention the quality of the meat. A step up from your conventional chicken will be a free range chicken, which has the freedom to roam outdoors during the day. However, I still would try not to eat this that often as it has the GMO feed, which is very important for me not to eat this or support this. Okay guys, one of the products that is approved and I definitely would buy 
is the organic chicken from Lidl. This is O, F and G organic. That means that it spends two thirds of its life with access to the outdoors. It has plenty of space. It is not a fast growing breed as it must live for a minimum of 70 days. And what appears to never be mentioned is the GM feed, the genetically modified feed. Because this is organic, it cannot be fed genetically modified feed. Also, I forgot to mention the risk of disease. Organic chickens have a much lower risk of disease because they have that freedom and plenty of space per bird. Whereas the factory conventionally farmed chickens, they don't have much space. So they're crammed in together. Their beaks are cut. They can spread disease like wildfire, guys. So it's much, much more likely that an organic chicken will be much, much more healthy for you. So, guys, I want to talk about a website. This website is the Pasture for Life website. This tells you many of the benefits of buying, for example, 100% grass-fed beef and lamb. And everyone on here is a member of the Pasture for Life Association. These are all local farms which sell the highest quality meats. Like I just said, 100% grass-fed beef and lamb. You know, chickens that are raised on pasture in mobile homes and they're moved often so they can enjoy different types of pasture and they can graze on natural insects and in the grass. This is the best of the best, guys, and it's local farms that we should be supporting. It also talks about where to buy meat and also where to buy your dairy. So if we click on where to buy meat, for example, this will take us to the page and this will have a map of farms all around the UK, including Scotland and Northern Ireland, Wales and England. This means that wherever you are in the UK, you will have at least one of these farms, guys, you can order to. And many of them do mail order. Here is some of the farms here listed. Some do mail order. Some you might have to contact directly. This type of meat is not available in the supermarket. So I can understand it is pretty hard to come by. If you can buy this meat, I suppose, you know, grain fed would be okay. But I would make sure it's organic. I would not buy genetically modified grain fed meat. I would make sure it's at least organic at the absolute minimum standard. So, as I was saying, guys, here is a list of the farms here. There's many, and I'm sure there's a choice for everyone there. So I hope you guys check out this website, because to me, this is absolutely amazing. It even tells you why it's good for your health, animal welfare. It's better for the environment, even though people will tell you it's not. The big companies will tell you it's not, because they want to keep using chemicals and genetically modified seeds and things like this. Like, for example, if we look at why it's better for your health, you see lower total levels of fats in grass-fed beef. That's because it's not eating corn and soy, which just fattens the animal up quicker and faster for slaughter. Higher levels of conjugated linoleic acid. It also has higher vitamin and mineral levels than meat or milk from non-grain-fed products and higher levels of omega-3. I believe three to five times higher levels of omega-3 in 100% grass-fed meat and milk. So guys, this is the Pasture for Life logo. This is only on the products of those special select farms that are Pasture for Life certified. So guys, I want to talk about the Pasture for Life website's membership and certification. This is absolutely open to anyone who's interested in this. It's £100 per annum and you basically get a big, big say in this type of farming the environment you can share your thoughts with all other people on the platform and it's just brilliant overall if you're interested in how your food is raised so i'm not sponsored by this at all but if you guys want to support a great cause i just thought i'd show this part of the website and i hope you guys support it i'd like to take the time to thank each and every one of you who has watched my videos the only way this channel is going to grow is if you like subscribe and share and i hope this channel has a big impact on your lives and shapes the way you eat in future thanks a lot guys